Hi, y'all. This is Sandra. Most people have heard that saying, ignorance is bliss. Well, no, it's not. What's right is that ignorance can be a stronghold, an unhealthy stronghold. Lots of folks are familiar with the scripture in the King James Bible in 2 Corinthians 10 and 4, which says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds. And in the Geneva Bible it says, To cast down holes. So that is a mention of bad strongholds. But many people don't know that God is a stronghold. I didn't know it either until about a year or so ago. Maybe not even that long. You don't believe me? It's in the book of Naaman, chapter 1, verse 7. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knoweth them that trust in him. So we can rest assured that God is a stronghold. In Christ dwelling folks, we lean on the stronghold, our Lord. Now, the issue of voices. Not too long ago, I was caught up in believing that I was often hearing the voice of God speaking to me. And sometimes I would share with others, the Lord told me to tell you this or that or the other. I'm still detoxing from some of the false teachings that I absorbed. And for all of us, living and learning and amending is a journey and a process. So people, don't be sucked into the vacuum of all these folks who are consumed with giving prophecies. Some of them are more into the flesh than they are into the spirit. And some of them have given themselves over to being seduced by spirits. So we can pray for them because God can change anybody. And he can undeceive folks just like he undeceived me and others that I have connected with. And we are thankful. And one of our roles is to share with others so that they can be on the roads to being undeceived as well. We all have areas of ignorance. And we're here as a body to help one another to conquer through the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the true vine, who is faithful and true. And also, when I was in church buildings, I would hear some pastors say, Touch your neighbor. Turn to your neighbor. Someone would say, Turn to three neighbors and say this, that, or the other. And I heard one guy say, Turn to seven neighbors. I'm like, they don't went from three neighbors, now seven neighbors. Well, when I was up in them, I didn't turn to no neighbors and tell nobody nothing. I didn't understand. It didn't make sense to me, so I never did it. So people, don't let these folks that you sit up, quote unquote, under, seduce you with their shenanigans and their traditions of men. If you don't want to turn to your neighbor, don't turn to your neighbor. If you don't want to touch your neighbor, don't touch your neighbor. If you don't want your neighbor touching you, let it be known. Because that's nowhere in the Bible, God, talking about touching your neighbor and turning to your neighbor and all that. That's just something they have concocted to go into more flesh grooves. And I don't find anything spiritually profitable about it. If you want to go ahead and do it anyhow, then have at it. So I just want to share that with you all. And I believe I'm finished. And I thank you all for listening. And I thank you, Lord, that we can continue to abide in you, to love you, and to commune and fellowship with you in Jesus Christ, our righteous, holy Savior. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Bye, y'all.